The Christmas season is here again. And while many of us are celebrating, there are some who are hurting, some who are going through unimaginable things right now. The loss of a loved one, sickness, illness going on in the family, brokenness in relationships. So many different scenarios could be going on. So during this time of year and all throughout the year, we should be faithful to God. We may be going through our trials, we may be going through things ourselves, but it could always be worse. God has been so good to us. He's been so faithful, so kind, so loving, even in the midst of our trial. This Christmas may look different for some. It may be one that's difficult for others. But regardless of your predicament, always lean on the true gift of this season. The true gift of every season. God for love for humanity. We were so sinful. We are so sinful. As a humankind, as the human race, we are sinful. Our nature is to sin. But even beyond that, God still looked at us and said, I love you. So much so that right here in this word, it says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Even in the midst of our sin, in the midst of our mess, God looked at us and said, I still love you. That's the greatest gift of the season. Not what's under a tree, not the big spreads that some of us have, but in the midst of every situation, no matter how bad it could be, God is still with us. He, God, sent his only son into the world to die for mankind. Jesus went through the same suffering you're going through. The same predicament that you're in, he's felt the equivalent of your pain. So my friend, don't give up. Don't throw on the towel. Hold on. It may be hard right now. You may be going through right now, but I want to encourage you to let you know weeping may endure for a night. But my friend, it's just one night because joy is coming. Joy is coming in the morning. So while this holiday may be very cheerful for some and hard for others, let's cling close to the true gift, the true reason for the season, and that is Jesus Christ. He loves you. He wants to save you. My friend, if you don't know Jesus Christ and you want to give your life to him, I want you to just say this prayer right here from your heart. Say, dear God, I admit that I am a sinner and I ask that you please forgive me and save me. I confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are Lord. And I believe you came to this earth, born of a virgin, lived the life that I could not live and died the death that I deserved. And I believe because of the blood that you shed on Calvary, the blood you shed on the cross, I believe because of that blood, my sins could be forgiven. I believe you were buried, but God, I believe you rose your son, Jesus Christ from the grave. And I believe that you're coming back again. So I called out to you and asked that Lord, please come into my life. Please be my Lord. Please be my Savior from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just said that prayer, my friend, if you said it from your heart, welcome to the family of God. There are great things awaiting you. Baptism, being baptized in the Holy Ghost. But my friend, I hope you enjoy Christmas. It may be a little different. It may be a little hard, but just keep holding on. Jesus has got your back. He has never left you. Even when you were making your bed in hell, he was still there. So my friend, he loves you. Merry Christmas. And let's not forget that Jesus is the reason for the season.